Hello, welcome to your weather for the week ahead from the Met Office. With most schools either breaking up this week or already on summer holidays, what does the week ahead have in store? Well, for quite a few of us, it's more of the same. Plenty more hot, hazy sunshine, but that won't be everywhere. Those people desperate for some rain won't like the next line because, well, many places will have a largely dry week. However, we are increasingly likely to see the heat and humidity triggering some thunderstorms, which could drop a lot of rain in a short space of time. It's going to be an interesting week of weather for sure. Let's take a look at the big picture and we can see how, well, it's not hot and sunny everywhere because we've got a couple of weather fronts just slowly pushing their way across parts of northern Britain. Not bringing a huge amount of rain, but it does mean that not everywhere is stiflingly hot. Ahead of this cold front, yes, temperatures are rising over 30 degrees, but behind that cold front, the air is that much cooler and that much fresher. Now that cold front you can see here is a band of cloud across southern Scotland pushing into northern England, parts of Wales, a little bit of showery rain here and there, a few scattered showers following and there is the potential for one or two thunderstorms even on Tuesday across East Anglia and the southeast but they'll be very isolated. For most here it will be just another hot and sunny day because as we saw earlier ahead of that cold front that's where the temperatures are rising to well, around 30 degrees again on Tuesday. Behind it, well, it is that much more comfortable with temperatures in the low 20s, generally speaking. That weather front kind of fizzles out on Tuesday, but there is the increased risk by Wednesday of seeing some thunderstorms across East Anglia and the southeast, possibly into Lincolnshire. Very hit and miss but potentially dropping a lot of rain. Elsewhere, a few scattered showers, but still some sunny spells and overall temperatures again. In most places, just in the low to mid 20s, but the heat and humidity persisting across East Anglia and the southeast. So again, 30 degrees is possible. By the time we get to Wednesday, we're looking at more weather fronts coming in from the Atlantic. Some uncertainty about the exact position. The isobars actually squeezed together as well. So that means the breeze will be picking up across the northwest and there will be some outbreaks of rain threatening Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. Elsewhere, well, for many places, Thursday looks like being dry. And again, with the winds coming up from the south, we're building the heat once more. So on Thursday, well, we could be looking more widely over 30 degrees, potentially the hottest day of the year so far. 33, maybe a touch more than that in and around London and East Anglia. Again, further west, it won't be that hot, but still widely into the mid-20s. But it will be cooler in the northwest with that weather front around. Now, as the heat and humidity really start to build through Thursday, Thursday night, there is an increasing risk of starting to see some thunderstorms. There's a weak cold front trying to push in from the west. It's ahead of that. We're drawing up some very hot and humid air. That's why the temperatures are rising through Thursday, and that's why we've got the potential on Thursday night, and more particularly on Friday, for some quite big downpours to develop. Too early to say exactly where, but parts of eastern England are at risk. Further west, that weather front could pep up as well and bring some heavier rain at times, maybe even some thunderstorms mixed in with that. So a real mishmash going on because there'll still be some sunshine and it will still be hot at this stage. It's not until this weather front clears out of the way that we start to see fresher air arriving. So for much of this week, especially across the east, not only will it be hot by day, but it will be hot by night. By the time we get to the weekend, that weather front is trying to take away the really hot and humid air. So at the moment, the weekend does look a little bit fresher as the storms clear away. There'll be a mixture of sunshine and showers. Now, we'll have more updates on the weekend as we go through the week, but there is a lot going on this week. So stay tuned to the forecast. Keep up to date with any weather warnings on the Met Office website, through our app and, of course, through social media.